let me ask you this. When I was watching the documentary, and this is coming as someone who was a fan pretty much from the beginning of his career, because I remember hearing him first on Blueprint 2 and just being like, what the fuck was that verse? And just ever since then, been tuned in, watching wow. every step of his career. Watching that documentary was probably like the most engaged I've ever felt in a piece of content in my adult life. Like it was so incredible just watching him realize his dreams and watching that look in his, his eye of just knowing what he was meant to be and just having to convince the world of it and, and just re like seeing all that footage for the first time and just realizing how right he was about his own talent was just like one of the most incredible experiences as a viewer ever. Yeah. As someone who's there, what did it feel like watching that documentary? Um, I, it really felt like walking back and walking through a time machine, mm. you know. And what's so crazy is that um, the significance, you know, like when I, hear, when I hear someone like yourself or, you know, I get a call from someone in, you know, in the game and they're like, yo, yo, that shit was so crazy, yo. You know, like when, it, you know, obviously when episode one, came, you know, phones ringing, like, yo. Yeah, week after week, it yeah, was just more and more memories. crazy, yo. I can't believe that was what was going on. It's like, to be honest with you, that's just, that was really just the tip of the iceberg. Because, I mean, even Cootie says, you know, some of the things he, you know, you know, there's so many things um, that, you know, some, a lot of, you know, you know, definitely Cootie and Chike definitely, had a lot of footage, um, obviously. But there's a lot of just, you know, like I said, like the, the, a lot of the, some of the turning points, because in episode one, it kind of goes from, he's in Shaka Pilgrim's office playing All Falls Down. It's, it's uh, basically on deaf ears, mm -hmm. right? And then, it kind of like jumps. He goes to Chicago, and then it kind of jumps to where it's like somehow lit. But it's not. But but from my eyes, it's like nah. That wasn't like if, if, in in the, in the in the realm of some watching television. It looks like maybe that's a week too. Mm. I you know everybody got their act together. It's years later. It's not years later, but right. it's incidents later, occurrences later. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because. Like I said, I met him 2002, 2004, college dropout comes out. Right. But that's, eh, it's like literally, it once it starts, it's like every day we dealing with some wow shit. This mm. shit is wow. You don't go, you don't go from, we ain't fucking with you to half a million records the first week. It's wild. <laughs> right. You feel me? Yeah. Like it got, it got dog wild. And so um, some of those things, you, you may never see, you may only hear through like story, like through, through like literally like folktale. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because, it, you know, uh, but the great thing about the documentary is the fact that there is, there is those, those pieces that, you know, like you said, you can see it's like, yo, really, this shit really manifested into the motherfucker who I d damn near hear from every day. Right. You know what I mean? In some way, shape, form, fashion, whether it's clothes, music, tweets, TV, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, And even he said, like, pretty early on, he said, like, this is Cootie. He did a seven-hour documentary in my life. So, I mean, even that right there, they probably had to cut out three hours right there Right. That was content. seven hours of then. Yeah. Like, the Glow in the Dark tour isn't even in the documentary. They must have cut it down so no, much. No, no, he wasn't, you know, that. The, that's the another thing. Like, the story is also, you know, Cootie expressing being in the circle, being mm -hmm. out the circle, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's some of the things that he just wasn't, he wasn't privy to at a certain point. Mm. You know what I mean? So. Did you relate to that? Because you've <coughs> kind of had your ups and downs over the years? Um, With, with, with Ye and In him? terms of, yeah, being cool with Ye and then not being cool with um, him? Nah, because Ye loved me. Right. <laughs> you've been cool with him, what, like 98% of the time, 90% of the nah, time? We, we don't got into it, but we brothers. You right. know, it's, it's different. It's different. Nobody's me in that situation. Because mm. nobody, at the end of the day, Cootie has his camera, right? You know, or love them, respect to him and all that. You know what I'm saying? But that's not you telling him. That's you. That's you 
he's a subject, right? Mm. And that is not the same as me giving my artistry to him and it then in turn becoming worldwide. There's no comparison. Mm. You, you know, it could be argued that, uh, you know, there's a cloud up off of Ye. I didn't cloud up off of Ye. How did I cloud up? I mm. was already rapping. Right. I ain't cloud up. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, like I said, we had an agreement. It was never a cloud up. You know what I mean? Like, we had an agreement. It worked. Right. I deserve everything that come with that. But, I mean, it completely revitalized your career at a point when I you were kind of giving up. Oh, for sure, yeah. <laughs> I deserve it. I'm not saying it because it's me. It's I definitely different it. than being the video guy, for sure. Right. Yeah. I deserve it. Whatever right. I got, I deserve. Mm. Like, if you invest, just... If, if I had a Bitcoin versus a dollar and a Bitcoin pop, I deserve whatever come with it. It's true. Right? It, just, if, just, because, I didn't, because it wasn't literally U.S. currency, it doesn't, it, it doesn't um, deter the value of what has occurred. If it pop, it pop. I mean, when you look so back. If, so if I put in sweat equity versus actual money, right. the sweat equity has no value because of what? Nothing. It, 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 it manifested into a literal dollar. But when you look back at all the decisions that you made throughout your life, believing in Kanye at a time when nobody else did probably feels a lot like you invested in Bitcoin on day one. Right. Yeah. Like I said, I, did, I literally just said, like, me not taking a 3K fed me for the rest of my life. Mm. You know what I mean? So I could have took the 3,000 and been like, yo, all right, this is nice to meet you. I could have did that too. If... I've always said this, like Kanye is a very persuasive person. Like people don't, people who know him know that. Like he is extremely persuasive when he wants something. When you didn't take right. that 3K, were you thinking about Memphis Bleak not, not taking the 1K from Jay in the car on reasonable doubt? That it didn't even occur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what it, I keep thinking about. Right. I got to say it. It didn't even occur. It was just like, it didn't occur because it was, I, I, it was, it was similar to, it was, it was more similar to me not signing a bad boy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yeah. Yeah, that was right then. That it was, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really doing this for that, right? But me, me trusting the process led to a bigger picture. Right, definitely. Um, one of the scenes that kind of stood out to me uh, as, you know, just one of the ones that is so indicative of what happens in this rise to fame is that moment where he. Uh, calls cootie by the wrong name a bunch of times in a row right and he's drunk as shit it's it oh, would appear right, right 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 at the, at the grammy joint yeah and it's like you're it's just right there so transparent of like the fact that kanye was kind of dealing with learn like just developing an ego that he obviously like deserves to have but it's kind of like gone too far um, in that moment where I it's like I you know I, I, well i mean i think no, there was no, there was no media training that could prepare him mm. for what had eventually transpired. Right, right. Um, now, does Jay does Jay make mistakes? Absolutely, absolutely. He's, you know, like when I say that, what I'm saying like, um, as far as like with the drunk and the and the woo out the woo with the name and all that. Um, you know, if you cootie, do you take it personal? Yeah, you probably take it personal because you're like, yo, this was somebody I believed in when nobody believed in him. But he also is the same person who's having to now manage a plethora of personalities. Mm. You know what I'm saying? People coming at him, him manifesting it, him, you know, obviously having a, 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 a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. You know what I mean? From you know, because it's it's just natural. Nobody's gonna you're not gonna go through a bunch of no's, and then when you get yes, be like, you know, what well, ev everything is kumbaya. It's 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 low key up for a couple of you motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I know how you really felt about me. I felt the energy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's all about uh, position and perspective. Then it's like now I'm in a position where. You know, I'm drunk, and hey, you know, what's your name again, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it like that, I feel you. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 a wild ride. What's uh, it's a wild what's ride. What's documented there? It's a wild there. ride. You yeah. know, like you know, 
And like I said, I mean, even in that, like, homie still running around. I made 30 million off the joint. So you 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 got one what's your name, nigga? Is that verified? I don't know, but I That's know. That's amazing. I, it is, and I would <laughs> love for somebody to cut my check for my appearance. Right. Soon. Yeah. Do you wish you uh, had had more screen time in there? You think that your role nah, was? No, I know this. I've been on TV, so I know that you subjected mm. to the to the edit. Right. So you know, I have no issue with that. I just I just need my check for the edit. But you know, we'll get to that. Right. How's that recording process changed though? With you just being one of the very few people who's been privy to what it's like making this music for all these years. And it, it, it seems like when you're seeing glimpses of what it looks like these days, that right. it's like, it's crazy just like how many people are involved. And he's kind of talking to one guy who's making a beat. He's talking to another guy that's writing for it. He's like, it must, it's been crazy. I'm assuming seeing that transformation. Well, it's, it's, it's a, it's definitely a couple of different ways to look at it. If you're looking at it as from a bit, as a business being ran, mm. then that's the natural progression of business. You know, when we started, it was more of a mom and pop. And right. It became more of a uh, of a structured business, you know, and that's what you essentially want. You know, you don't you you can't you you can't get to certain levels to where you brag and boast doing the same business. Like mm -hmm. it has to grow. Like you have to elevate. That's the the that's the means and the ends of capitalism. Like you don't you don't. Um, you know, very rarely will you not get swallowed up without evolution, mm. you know? So you have to eventually, you know, if you're going to expand, like, you, you know, you have to, you have to hire employees. You can't, you know, it's like when, when you, when you're getting ad dollars for a podcast, you can't run the same joint just off your Mac with the flip. Like, you know, eventually you, you got to have a person do this person does that, you know, that way, you develop some sort of conveyor belt. Okay, guys, we want to thank you so, so much for getting us to 100,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. If you want to support, please click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200K. Thank you. Thank you so much.